decided we should go back to some Battlefield 4 for a bit. I know I haven't done a video on Battlefield 4. It's been at least four months. It has been such a long time. But you know, I decided I decided we we're gonna load up some Operation Outbreak here. I haven't played this map. I don't think I've ever done a live commentary on this map. I have done a video on how to get the Phantom Bow. Which was way, way, way back. That was like two years ago, I think. So decided to bring out the L96 recon class. Definitely, absolutely love this sniper rifle. Most used. Really? Really? Thought that should have got him. I think this is. Yeah, this is my most used sniper. Got a couple thousand kills with it. It's just such a beast. Such a beast. I'm lagging a bit. Am I? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I see him. I see him. He's going for the M60 ULT. You want to pick that up, buddy? Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Anyway, so you guys have been having an awesome day. Because so far. You know, Battlefield 4, it just brings back, brings back a lot of memories. I know it's not that even, well, saying it's old, it's an old game, it's up for debate. I don't know, it's almost four years old now. This L96 is such a beast, such a beast. Oh my god. Hold on. Nade there. Let's see if we can get the revolver. Yep, of course we can. You know, if life gives you lemons, fucking shoot the lemon with the revolver. That's what you do. Okay. Oh my god. That foliage was the only thing keeping me alive. And then it just despawns. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, I think we have some guys around here trying to take this objective. Was blinking on the minimap a second or two ago, but I think we should be fine now. Check. Oh. There we go. Get on, boy. Um, hold on. He's trying to snipe the pilot out. He just landed it on the roof. <laughs> what was the point of landing it if you were going to crash it, man? That makes no sense. Alright, he just got RPG'd. Awesome. Looks like we have this. This seems pretty secure. Or, oh, god damn it, it's never secure, is it? Oh, oh my god, the whole roof just collapsed with him on, collapsed with him on it. Oh my god. He would have got me as well, I reckon. He probably would have got me. <laughs> Thank you, Levolution. Thank you for that. That was insane. That was insane. Looks like someone's trying to take Objective B. Where are you, enemy? Probably under there, which makes it impossible for me to kill you. You up top. No. Alright, that makes things very hard for me to do. I gotta be careful though, because this map, it's so, it's just, the enemies are literally everywhere. Because, you know, it's just a jungle, people are just sneaking around the place. You can get caught out pretty easy, so you definitely do have to be careful. Screen shake put me off right there. That was just my lack of timing. He's gone down there. He's down, awesome. This L96 is doing some serious damage today. Oh, the suppression. Oh, shit. Hold on. I think we got contact really close. Really, really close. Hold on. We got one guy right here. Hold on. Oh, no. That was really bad. I really should have had the drop on him. God damn it. God damn it. Really wish I had the drop. No, this is a nice little spot, this now. This is a nice spot. If we can just get some, if we can see some enemies right now, we do some damage. I can't even see him. Just ah, uh. right, he's down. We did get the assist counts as kill. Awesome. LAV down there. Let's see if we can C4 it, guys. Do you reckon we can? I reckon we can. Let's see if we can just get some C4 on it. Sneak up behind it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, really, dude? Are you fucking for real? You had to ruin my opportunity? Yeah. That is why... If you're gonna be sniping, you don't go in a squad. Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being in a squad and sniping, but... That sort of shit happens the entire time. And look, now he's dead as well. He spawned in on me, ruined my chance to kill the LEV, and then died. <laughs> GG. GG. We have some enemies in here, though. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Like Rick Grimes going around with this revolver. Hold on. I keep saying hold on. What is <laughs> what is it with me and hold on? Alright, there's one. He did have a buddy. Where is he? 
Where is he? You're around here somewhere. Let's put in a fresh mag so I can whoop some more ass. I know a lot of people say that the, uh, what is it called, the, S the SRR-61 is the best sniper rifle in Battlefield 4. Statistically it is, on paper it is. But to be honest, it literally means nothing if it's the best gun in the game but you can't play well with it. If you can, if you can play amazingly with the worst gun in the game, then the worst gun in the game is the best gun for you. That's how I like to look at it. I mean, the, S the SSR, SRR, whatever, it is a very good gun. I can do well with it. But I just find that I do much, much better with this L L80 or L96 or L115, whatever the hell they've called it this time. Alright, looks like we have a lot of contact up here. Let's throw in a grenade. If I actually got that shot right there. Hold on, there's one around here. I hear them. You should have moved, buddy. You could have got away from me. Easy. What a tank right there. Can someone get on it? Oh, nice one. Nice one. That's teamwork right there. We got the... Oh, oh, oh. That was brutal. Whoever took that helicopter down. God damn. That could have been an actual valuable asset to us as well. If we had people who knew what they were doing in it. Oh, man. I really should have got that. Rock that bolt. He's down. See you. Oh, no. God damn it. That's just the one thing. You always have to watch your back. God damn. I'm doing some serious damage with this sniper rifle, though. All right, I'm going to go with the M416 here for a bit. We have a couple enemies over there. There's another one. I hear him. Let's nade. Let's see if we can attack from the side here. Get a nice flank off. Where are you? Where are you? That's you. Not anymore, you're dead on the floor. Oh, dude, behind you, behind you, behind you. Oh, wait, hold on, there's one more. Can we get him, guys? Can we get him? Oh, there's another one up there. There's so many. There's so many around this little village right now. This is insane. This is what I kind of love about this map, though. It's just these... These firefights just break out in all these different areas of the map. And it kind of forces you to evolve to uh, every part of the map. Alright, looks like... We got a guy over there. Alright, he's down. He's pretty pretty easy to take out. Oh, one behind us. Hold up. Oh, he's damaged. Not bothered to go after him. We have one. There's just so many threats everywhere, it's impossible to take care of them all. You know, you really don't wanna you really don't wanna waste your time going after one. Someone else will get him in the end. Unless he does too much damage from behind. Use your bullets wisely. Tap fire. That's one thing I love in Battlefield, you know, when you see new players and they're just holding down the trigger, it just doesn't work like that. You really have to, uh... Oh, I was gonna get him with the Deagle. Should really get a kill with the Deagle before this game's over. Deagle is just such a boss weapon. Such a beast of a gun. Absolutely love it. And see, this is just... as going back to my point. How this map kind of forces you to evolve to the, uh, to the combat situation. Now we're just kind of in a little bit of a quiet spot, you know, there's not much of a gunfight happening. But everyone's just kind of running around waiting for something to happen. Looks like something's going down now, though. Alright, he's dead. Bodies are going down, it looks like. It's a pretty tight match, this. Pretty good match, to be honest. It is a good GG. It is a good, good game. <laughs> that literally makes no sense. Alright. Let's move up here. Couple guys around here. He's down with a headshot on him. Did you get that guy? You did. Sweet. Just want to navigate around these rocks here. There is, you know, there's enemies literally everywhere. Looks like we're back fighting in this town again, though. Objective D. We're kind of making our way back up. It looks like we're going to have a gunfight here. And that's that's where I think we're going to have to fight next. But I absolutely just love this map. It's amazing. Uh, oh. What? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that just makes sense, doesn't it? You got, you got you down there. Oh, man, these bullets can just tear through that wood. And I got taken. Alright, looks like we're going to win this game. They only have 21 tickets left. We have 110. Sweet, sweet. Can we get one more kill? Just to finish it off. Don't even need to capture that flag. Don't even need it. They're going to be they're gonna be trying to kill us, kill as much as possible to get a comeback right now. I don't know if it's even possible for them to get a comeback. 
I really don't know because in Battlefield 4, you know, kills do count towards ticket counter. I think actually implementing that into Battlefield 1 again. I already have. I'm confused with the whole Battlefield 1 ticket counter. <laughs> it makes no sense to me. Wish they just keep it as simple as it is now. Alright, he left or something. Well, well, it won't let me revive you at the first time. Well, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, come on, get that mag in. Oh man, Todd is gonna get that sniper. Looks like that's looks like that's game. Oh man, that's that is fun. That is fun. I absolutely love going back to Battlefield 4. Such a good game. Such a good game. I used to not like Operation Outbreak, but it's grown on me. It's grown on me to say that it's it's a lot of fun. Anyways, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next Battlefield video.